Hi, Gary here from Mr. G Shave, back for another Friday head shave. Probably one of my favourite shaves of the week, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, so uh, both both parts of my, or the two-part giveaway, um, 1,000 subscriber giveaway, have been claimed. Both both parts have been claimed. So congratulations to Funf T and to Dr. Charlesworth, um, Darren. Um, so yeah, excellent. So uh, I believe Pitt's already got his. So he sent me a message with a picture, so I think that means he's got it. Um, so that's great. And it's down to Darren uh, or Dr. Charlesworth to to choose his razor from John. You know, he's got to speak to John June uh, and arrange for his custom razor to be made. Um, so there we are. What am I using today? Oh, this is head shave number 100. So yeah, special shave, I guess, but I haven't used anything special, maybe the software. Um, so the hardware today, as usual with a head shave, is just two items of hardware, and that is my Yaki White Knight 30 millimeter brush. And I'm using the Yaki Tile for today's head shave. I think I've used this recently, I can't remember. See that or the Henson, I think it was the Henson. Um, but yeah, so the Yaki Tile, uh, and it's actually one of my um, um, Magnificent 11 razors, but this isn't the shave for that, so I'm not gonna talk about that. Um, <clears throat> so, right, let's just get on with the shave as I usually do. I'm just gonna wet the dome down. And the other bit of news is I've bought another camera. <laughs> yeah, another one. I'm, I'm almost as bad with my cameras as I am with uh, with, with shave gear. But I'm, yeah, I'm not as bad as that. The cameras cost a lot more money. But <clears throat> yeah, I've bought another camera that I'm gonna, I'm just charging it now. I've been out this morning to, to get it. Um, and uh, do a few other things, bits and pieces. But, um, yeah, so there may be a difference. There may it may may be a noticeable dis difference. There may not be. I, I may have to play with it to get it right. Um, but it's the upgrade to to this camera, which is the Sony ZV-1. Um, with so it's the Sony ZV-E10. Um, and if the if the if it does prove to be, it's got a much bigger sensor. Um, if it does prove to be a lot better then I'm probably selling my Sony ZV-1. So, oh yeah, the pre-shave is Prorazzo. I'm going for a cool shave. Um, so the tile has got a perma-sharp blade on it, with it on the second use, on its second use. So that's going in, it's cold, cold shave today. Just wet that off, uh, just squeeze that out, give it a quick shake. And it's Perazzo Green Shaving Cream. It's a Perazzo shave really today, apart from two of the items. I think this is gonna, yeah, it is. This was under pressure. But it's just giving me enough to shave with. So I didn't even need to squeeze that out. Oh, there's more in the cap. <laughs> I got probably too much now. I'm going to leave that there and I'll sort that out later. So how's everybody's week been? I hope you've all achieved what you set out to achieve. Um, oh, this is nice and cooling on the dome. I do like a Perazzo green shave, I must admit, certainly in the summer. It's quite a warm day here today. It's been quite sunny. Um, yeah, nice day. Had a bit of rain yesterday, which we needed because my lawn is brown. It's got some green patches, but it's 90% brown, so desperate for some rain. Right, that should be enough to get along, get going with. So here goes. With the grain pass, Yaki tile with a perma-sharp blade on its second use. Oh, that feels nice. Nice cold metal, cold steel on your head. Oh yeah. 
this is a great head shaver. If you're looking for alternatives, cheaper alternatives to the Henson, then this is it. This is brilliant. And it's, it, I think it's great for face shaves as well as head shaves. As is the Henson, to be fair. Henson, you know, does a great job, but this is slightly more aggressive. I prefer it to the Henson. Um, because you can you can get a little bit of the blade feel, especially I was considering putting a feather blade in. If I put a feather blade in, I'd have really got a lot more blade feel. But I just like to know where the blade is. And this is a lot heavier than uh, this. This razor is a lot heavier than um, the Henson. Which again, I prefer. I like a bit of heft to my razors. If Henson brought out a stainless steel version, I'd, I'd definitely buy one. So Henson, if you're listening, produce a stainless steel version of your razors. I know you've got a titanium one, but that's just lightweight. I prefer something with a bit of heft. I can still see it. There's a quite a bit of hair on my head, hair growth on my head, because I think the last time I shaved my head, I was in Cornwall. I think I shaved it on the Thursday before we came back. Yeah, sorry I didn't do a beach shave. I just was there to relax. I just decided I'm, you know what, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take the two weeks off. I didn't respond to many comments, so if I've missed your comments, I will be catching up with them. I just haven't got around to it. As you can probably imagine, I've had a lot to catch up with since having a two holiday, a two week holiday. You know, you, you always come back to lots of different things you've gotta catch up on. So I've been really busy this week. Um, and I'm, I'm actually recording this, this, sh this video. It's now 20 past three in the afternoon. Normally I've, I've, I, I start shaving at about midday, about 12 o'clock, so. Oh, that feels so good. I would still consider this to be mild in terms of aggression. Um, this yaki tile, I would say, it's definitely more aggressive than than the Henson. More blade feel, but it's not aggressive. It's it's a mild razor. <clears throat> but it does a great job on, on dome change. For me, <clears throat> there's a lot of people who prefer the, the twig thorn or the thorn razor from Leaf. Um, they like more aggressive razors on, the, on their dome or on their solar panel. <clears throat> I'm quite happy with, qu with quite a mild razor because my hair is really thin anyway, so it doesn't need the aggression. Great. So yeah, I'll show you the camera next. I've got to do a shave on Monday. I'm not sure what's happening. I've got a birthday party to go to on Monday afternoon, well, lunchtime. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to do the shave first thing in the morning and then do all the editing when I get back. So again, I think Monday's shave will go up a bit late. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, right, let's get this on. A bit more water. Still got quite a lot of growth. Velcro on my dome, certainly at the back, but that's to be expected.
So third pass, third pass and pick up. So let's go for it. I do enjoy, I mean I know a lot of you shave every day, shave your domes every day, but I quite enjoy punctuating the week with a head shave at the end of the week. It's just my thing. Call, call me lazy if you want, but I just get so much more enjoyment. Oh, that's really, that's BBS. Uh, I just get so much more enjoyment when I leave my head to, or my hair to grow out a bit, and then to shave it off. It just gives me more pleasure. If I shaved every day, it would, I think it would become a chore for me. I could shave every other day or sort of Monday, Wednesday and Friday, but this does me. I'm quite happy with this. I have got a lot of hair to shave off to be fair. I mean, if you go back to my original well the, the first of my videos you'll see what I look like with with hair and I'm pretty much bald um, <clears throat> and what is there is cut very short it's usually a number one to, or a number two when I used to have my hair cut <clears throat> so this feels great And that'll be me set for the weekend. Do a shave tomorrow. In fact, I'll probably use my new camera tomorrow to see what difference that makes. Because it's got to make a difference. I can take it back if I don't think it's a good enough improvement. But the difference with it is if you can, where the Sony ZV-1 is a fixed lens, well it's not a fixed lens, it's a zoom lens but it's fixed in, it sort of retracts internally so it's a point and shoot camera. The ZV-E10 you can take the lens off and you can change it, different lens, you know, change different lenses into it and stuff so so you've got more flexibility and it's a much bigger sensor, the sensor is 11 times bigger than, than the Sony ZV-1 so let's have a feel around. Oh there's a couple of bits Round the ears. I'll make, I've got to make sure I've got to get those. But everywhere else is BBS, so let's just catch the bits around the ears. I always miss a bit around my ears, so I've got to concentrate on what I'm doing. That's it. Perfect. BBS. Right, I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Oh, I haven't cleaned off my dome yet. I've cleaned everything else up. The razor and everything else. So I'll call this the cold rinse. <laughs> Nice menthol shave, summer shave to end the week. And we've got bank holiday weekend this weekend. So an extra day off, which is great. Oh. 
Fantastic. Oh, you know how that feels. This is the Zen shave of the week and it feels so good. Clean shaven head tomorrow, face shave. Don't know what I'm using tomorrow. I haven't got a clue, <laughs> but we'll see. It's got to be one of my uh, Magnificent 11s, so it's whatever came after the last one. So I think it'll be Magnificent 11 number six. Um, so that's probably going to be, it could be the Edwin Jagger, but we'll see. Right, so um, Boots, Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. On the solar panels, showing them up. Oh. It's quite a few people have bought this stuff after I sort of, I do plug this a lot, but I, I wish I got commission on that, but no, it's, it's, you just buy it in Boots the Chemist in the UK. I don't know whether um, you can get the Boots stuff over in the US. Let me know in the comments below, I haven't got a clue. Um, but this stuff, I love it after a shave. Um, it just freshens you up. And obviously Perazzo Green uh, after shave. I've been told many times that I don't have to use tea tree or, or witch hazel if I'm using this stuff, but I just like the process. I have five different stages. I've got the pre-shave. Oh yeah. No sting on this at all. N I mean, you would expect a sting, but with that tile razor, no, nothing. Not even a pin prick. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I just like the process. I have five stages. I've got the pre-shave, I've got the shave, I've got the tonic or, or witch hazel. Then I have the aftershave and then I have the post-shave balm. And, and I don't feel like I've shaved unless I've done, gone through all five stages. And so the fifth stage is Lear, Lear aftershave balm, and this is also very cooling. So let's give it a shake. And only that much. Oh, perfect finish to a perfect head shave. Absolutely brilliant. Here comes the weekend. <laughs> All right, I'll see you now tomorrow for my face shave. Bye-bye for now.